Okay, so like, are you ready for this? Always, hit me. So today we're going deep, like deep, into one of the wildest corporate dramas, like ever. Ooh, I live for this kind of stuff, lay it on me. All right, picture this. Kanye, or Ye, as he's known now, and Adidas. Buckle up, because their story is like way more intense than anything you'd see on Succession. Okay, I'm hooked already. We've got excerpts from this recent article, and let me tell you, it is juicy. Awesome. You know I love a good deep dive. So what's the headline? Get this. After two years of legal battles, back and forth like a total mess, Adidas and Yee settled their feud out of court. What? No way. Seriously. But it was like so public and nasty. How is that even possible? Exactly. No payouts, no apologies. Just see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. That's insane. Like unheard of in the corporate world, especially after such a huge blow up. I mean, this wasn't just a little disagreement, right? Right. Remember back in 2022 when you went on that, uh, you know, that anti-Semitic rant? Oh, yeah. It was all over the news. A total PR nightmare. Adidas didn't even blink. They cut ties like that. They were looking at potentially losing billions, but they bailed. I mean, can you blame them? They had to do damage control. In this day and age, companies can't be associated with that kind of rhetoric. Exactly. It was a huge risk. But it kind of shows how seriously companies are taking social responsibility now. They're realizing that their reputation is everything. Totally. It's like they're finally waking up to the fact that their actions have consequences. You can't just ignore something like that and hope it goes away. Especially when you're a global brand like Adidas. Yep. And the fallout was real. Adidas had all this Yeezy stock left over, and they had to sell it at a discount. Like, they only made $200 million from it, compared to $350 million the year before. Wow, that's a pretty big hit. Mm. But hold on, didn't they donate some of those profits? Oh, yeah, they did. They gave some to a bunch of NGOs, even their own anti-discrimination foundation. Classic PR move, right? Yeah, but... I mean, it's good that they're at least trying to do something positive, right? Yeah, for sure. But it does make you wonder, like, is it genuine? Or are right. they just trying to cover their, uh, you know? Right. Like, is it actual remorse or just damage control? It's a tough one to call. Some critics say they were happy to profit from Yez, shall we say, controversial persona for years. And now they're trying to wash their hands of the whole thing. Yeah, it's definitely a gray area. It makes you think about how brands handle these situations, you know? Absolutely. It's a tricky balance between standing up for your values and protecting your business. This isn't an easy answer. Meanwhile, things kind of went downhill for Ye, like, fast. Remember when he went on Infowars and praised Hitler? Oh, gosh, yeah. That was something else. Like car crash TV, but worse. Hard to believe this is the same guy who basically reinvented hip-hop. Makes <laughs> you wonder what was going through his head. I know, right? Like, Talk about a fall from grace. It's yeah. honestly kind of sad to see. And you can't deny there's a whole web of factors at play here. The pressure of fame, maybe some mental health struggles. Yeah, and possibly even a you know a strategic play to stay relevant by stirring up controversy. I mean, it's worked for other celebrities. Not saying that's what's happening here, but it's definitely a possibility. Yeah. So while Yee's like, world was imploding, Adidas was already bouncing back. They saw big growth in China and North America, proving that, like, they're not just about Yeezy. Exactly. It shows that they've built a solid brand over the years. It also tells us a lot about the resilience of established companies. I mean, this scandal definitely hurt, but it didn't kill them. Okay, so where do they go from here? Can Yi salvage his career, or is this it? Will Adidas ever even think about working with him again? And, like, what does this whole thing mean for celebrity endorsements in general? I have so many questions. Me too. It's like a giant question mark hanging over the whole situation. Like, in this age of cancel culture, can anyone really come back from something this big? Is there such a thing as redemption anymore? Or are Yi and Adidas, like, permanently linked, for better or worse? I don't know. It's crazy to think about. Do you yeah. think they can escape this, like, shadow of controversy? Honestly... I have no idea, but it's definitely a story that's going to keep unfolding, and I'm sure the next chapter will be just as wild as this one. No doubt. Well, that's our deep dive for today. Thanks for listening, and let us know what you think. Can they bounce back? Hit us up on social media. We want to hear your thoughts.